Hi everyone, this is Rohan and in this video I'm going to discuss about site plan. So a site plan is a large scale drawing that shows the full extent of the site for a proposed development. The prerequisites for a site plan is that you should have the developed plans of the proposed development ready with you. And as far as the scale of a site plan is concerned, if the project is of a smaller size, then you can go for a larger scale like 1 is to 200. Or if the project is of a larger size, then you can go for a smaller scale of 1 is to 500. Generally, uh, we use 1 is to 500. Now here I'll provide you the information that are usually shown in the site plan. However, these are the information that must be shown. More information can be added based on the requirement of the particular proposed development. Okay, the information shown on the site plan, number one is the north direction. Number two, the boundaries of the site mentioning properly the plot size and the plot number. Number three, the positions of the neighboring sites, mentioning the plot numbers. Number four, the approach road, mentioning the width of that road. Number five, the built up area of the proposed development and this has to be hatched. Number six, the open spaces around the development, that is the front, rear and side open spaces. Number seven is the water line. Number eight, the sewage line. Number nine, the electricity line. And lastly, number 10, one prominent landmark. Now, as I told you, these are the things that must be shown. Apart from this, if there are special requirements for the project that you're working on, you must show those things too. All right. So with a quick example, let me just show you how to draw a site plan. So uh, we had already mentioned the things that are required. So one by one, we will see that. So the first thing that is required is the north direction. So here I have shown the north direction. Secondly, you have to show the plot. As you can see, for simplicity, I have taken a rectangular plot. Uh, I've given a plot number as plot number 7 and the size of the plot is shown as 20 meters by 30 meters. Obviously, if it is an irregular plot, you have to show the size of the plot on all the four sides or maybe even five sides, six sides, however irregular your site is. Next, you have to show the adjoining plots. here. It is okay if you don't show the adjoining plots in totality, but just show their position and give their proper names and like plot number six and plot number eight. Next, we'll have to show the approach road and the width of that road. So here it is written approach road 7.5 meter wide. And as you can see here, there is the uh, center line of the street. Next. You have to show the built up area of the project. Now, obviously, uh, as you can see, the built up area has to be hatched so that it is seen clearly against the plot. And whatever the shape of your building is, of course, this is a scale of 1 is to 500. So this has been reduced. The built up area has been reduced to such a smaller size. Next, you have to show the open spaces around the plot the open spaces that have been provided. So here the front open space shown is 5 meter, the rear open space is 3 meters, the left side open space is 3 meters and the right side open space is 7.5 meter. So whatever may be the case for your project, you have to show this four open spaces that have been given, that have been provided around the built up area. Now number six, is the water line okay now here as you can see i have provided the water line as a dotted line and it is a good practice to not write water line on top of this but just by giving the uh, legend on the site you can show that this is the symbol of the water line please note here the line is starting from middle of one lane of the road and going 
to a appropriate place uh, in the building here the plan that i was working with here uh, is the place where the uh, water supply is going in so this is where i have taken it from the road to the building next is the sewage line okay so the sewage line starts from here here most of the sanitary uh, units of the buildings were here so the sewage line was generating from here and from here with uh, this uh, uh, dotted lines that is one dot and one hatched lines i have joined this to the center line of the approach road so the water line is passing from somewhere this level right and the sewage line is passing from this level so make sure that these two are not ending on the same part of the road that may be the case in certain places but it is not a good practice according to me if you ask so it's it's better that you show it at two different places as shown here okay so this is the water line and this is the sewage line now next we have to show the electricity line so here as you can see i have taken the electricity line from the edge of the road to an appropriate place inside the building okay and then lastly you have to show one prominent uh, landmark it can be in the form of any public building any prominent landmark so here i have mentioned this as xyz supermarket so this is the landmark for your site okay so just rerun it once more one more time so first we have to go for the north direction second you have to show the plot along with the plot number and the size of the plots then thirdly you have to show the adjoining plots with the plot numbers then you have to show the built up area of the plot i'm sorry i just skipped one thing so next after the adjoining plots you have to show the road the approach road along with the width of the road and the center line of the road then you have to show the built up area of the proposed development and you have to hatch it so that it looks prominently against the backdrop of the plot then you have to show the open spaces the front open space the side open space and the rear open space then you have to show the water line then the sewage line then the electricity line and lastly one prominent landmark so that's it for today i hope you have understood something from this video if you have any doubts you can write in the comments below thank you for your time